They never talk about the pain. When you talk to people who have been under persecution, they have the unique awareness given to them by the Holy Spirit that this is a spiritual warfare. And somehow I have been counted worthy to be on the front line. Christians worldwide are being persecuted for their faith. That's a fact. They need your help, but perhaps not the kind that you would expect. They are suffering, yet they continue to ask for scriptures and prayer to strengthen their resolve, not for relief from persecution. Think about that for a minute. Suffering for righteousness sake, what does the Bible really say about persecution? Are we really supposed to consider it joy? Aiding people attacked us, they broke the door, they beat up our husband, and then they go and file a complaint that this couple, they not only became a Christian, they are converting others. So these people have to migrate to faraway places, and the men can afford to go, but the women are the ones who pay the price. A lot of abuses go through them. The children who go to school, they are picked at them. Persecution in various forms is happening in every nation. We were praying for a certain group of people uh, in one in rural community, and and a group of people came in uh, to uh, to kill the person who is here and praying in this community. I was beaten as I was going to to plant churches in this community. I was physically beaten by by people. When did you last experience persecution for your Christian faith? Five years ago, we were allowed to pray openly anywhere, but now it's restricted. The visibility, when it comes to visibility, what time, where we can gather. Any person with a Bible in his hand walks into the village, he is watched. Where he goes, what he does. And then who are his followers? Who are the ones next in the villages who will walk with the Bible? Now the persecution is increasing more and more because there are many Christians, many people are coming to Christ because there is a life and there is peace. The Bible League Canada is actively involved in scripture placement and training in several countries that are experiencing tremendous persecution. We hear their challenging stories. They burned a lot of our literature, they burned our churches, they kept their guns on me, my chest and many times. My churches, they burnt, the buildings they burnt. And they black and blue, they beaten many of our pastors. My father was taken away by them. They kidnapped him for the long hours. And they kept many times guns on my chest, not to go in, enter into the villages. But I said, no. We cannot stay quiet. Though people may talk and people may beat us, but we want to take the gospel to our friends. And yet our brothers and sisters on the front line of persecution do not ask for relief. They have an inner joy, knowing that the gospel is being shared and the people are coming to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Even uh, in time of persecution, I will serve the Lord. We need to pay the price. Persecution is there, but people are yearning for the truth. They're yearning. The Bible is inspiring them. Your prayers and gifts strengthen and help persecuted Christians to persevere. Your gift of $30 can provide six Bibles and respond to the needs of our persecuted brothers and sisters. Make a difference. Join the Bible League Canada and thousands of Christians and churches across Canada on an amazing journey to discover why God asks us to consider it joy.